Over the last couple of months, I've had a few requests asking if Bash for Windows is going to be able to allow us to do Django development. So in this video, we're going to go over and look at doing just that. To start off, we're actually going to install Bash for Windows, and then we're going to look at doing a project in it. So the first thing to do is op open up your settings in Windows, go down to For Developers, and then turn on Developer Mode, and then confirm that you want to do that. Next, you want to go ahead and open up the Windows Features dialog and then scroll all the way down and turn it on with by activating the Windows subsystem for Linux beta. And then it's going to go ahead and download and do an install and you'll see when that's done and you'll need to restart your computer. The next thing you need to do is go down to where your Cortana is and do the, do the search and just type in bash and hit enter. And it'll bring up this dialog. From there you confirm that you understand the terms of service and hit enter and then it's going to do all of its install process and once that's done you're ready to start using it. So now that we're inside uh, Bash for Windows you can actually start doing a couple of things. First thing I always do when it, with an Ubuntu is do an app get update and then I do an app get upgrade as well. And that's going to install all of the latest features and everything else. The next step is to go ahead and install a few things. How I usually like to install a fresh system is I like to go ahead and install Easy Install, and then after that I'll use Easy Install to install a virtual env, and then from there I just create virtual envs for myself. So we'll do an apt get install Python setup tools. This gives us that Easy Install package. Then we'll do an Easy Install pip, and this gives us pip at the master level, and then after that, we're going to do a pip install of virtual env. And then now we have pip available, so when we do a virtual env for everything else, it'll use the pip. So now we're kind of done setting up our environment. Let's go ahead and see about creating a project. We're going to create a programming directory in our home, and we'll just do a virtual env and demo to create our demo virtual environment. And it'll go through and work just like normal. Next we want to make a Django directory and under programming because we're going to put all of our Django projects there and we'll do a pip install Django inside of our demo virtual env. Now all we need to do is create a new Django project so we'll do Django admin.py start project demo. It creates our new project and if we do an ls we see we have a new project demo. If we'll cd into that and do manage.py run server you can see it starts up and we're using Django version 1.9.7 and it looks like it might be running. So if we'll open up Edge and go to 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 for our server, you can see, hey, it worked, You're, we're using a Django project. So with that in mind, you might actually want to use an editor in Windows and not use an editor in your Bash environment. So in order to do that, we need to change our location in Linux. So what we need to do is we need to cd to mount C, and then users, user, and then the programming folder. And this basically goes to the user on your local Windows machine with MNT, or the mount point for your Windows drives. So in this case, uh, the C drive of your Windows machine is put in that location. So we'll just cd into there, and then We'll create a new Django project just to look at it and you can see hey we have our demo project. Now if we'll open up our Explorer you can see hey we have the demo project here in Explorer. Open that up and look at our manage.py, look at our demos and there we go. We'll open up our urls.py file and we'll do that with a notepad. You would normally want to use something better that actually recognizes Unix line endings. But you can edit the files and run them from there. So that's it for getting a standard basic Django application. I intend to do more testing to try more complex things you can do in Django. But I've successfully installed Redis and Postgres and actually run them and done some very basic stuff. And so I'm kind of hopeful that Bash for Windows will be as awesome as it looks like it will be.